Hi, thank you for joining me, mate. No worries at all. Up here at St Andrews. How's it been? You're in with Lyndon and Jacob for a wee bit of a mini camp. Yeah, it's been good. It's been really good. Um, obviously for us boys, it's been a it's been a while since our yeah. season finished, so it's fine just to get a little bit of a break and then uh, just gonna kind of get the legs going again. Keep kind of looking looking for the summer and, and coming away with Scotland and you know a massive game against Ukraine and then hopefully another one after that. And you think you know it'll be a, a really good season from here if we can get a couple of positive results. Absolutely. Let's look at Scotland then. I know how much it means to you coming away every single time, but this is a big one, June, obviously, isn't it? How are you feeling ahead of it? Excited. That's probably the um, the biggest one. Um, obviously, we didn't really know when when this kind of game was was going to come, and yeah. we had the complications in, in March and stuff. So, um, you know, it's nice to, to have that kind of date set. I, I want to talk about that night in Serbia, um, and I don't want to talk about the tears because you will get that all the time. But <laughs> let's talk about the goal itself. I mean, I, I don't know if I'm out of turn. It almost doesn't feel like it's spoken enough about that goal. Like, obviously the penalties are one thing, but talk to me about the moment and the goal itself, because it doesn't get spoken about enough. Though. Yeah, obviously, probably right up there with, with uh, my kind of favourite achievement that I've, that I have had in my career so far. Um, I think the kind of tears afterwards over, overshadowed, <laughs> yeah. overshadowed my goal, I think. So uh, <laughs> killed, killed myself a bit there. But. Marsh as well took the line away a bit, we yeah, say, didn't he? Yeah, maybe true. Um, Marsh being selfish. But uh, yeah, listen, I was obviously buzzing to, to kind of get on the score sheet. And I remember kind of coming back from the celebrations in the corner and thinking, like, oh, I've done it, like, I've scored the goal. And then looking up at the clock and thinking, well, there's still another half hour to be played here. I better calm myself down. Um, get the head, get the head back. But yeah, listen, it was obviously a crazy kind of game the way it went and at the time it was um, you know it was horrendous to kind of sit through it but you look back at it now you probably wouldn't have it any other way. And Christie he's done it step forward Ryan Christie so one of your hobbies away from football mate bit of the golf so I yep. thought I'd bring you to the putting green to see how you get on. Who's the, the go-to boys in the camp? You Quite a lot of good like players actually golf, don't you? yeah we're the uh, we're the tag team to beat. Yeah all right really yeah Tell you what, it could be an unbelievable start. <laughs> as oh. soon as the camera's on, he turns up. As soon as he <laughs> the putts off camera. What's Stu play off? I think he's similar to me, although he'll tell you he's lower. Um, <laughs> Andy, Andy's good as well. Yeah, yeah. Big Marsh, so. Uh, and Dykesy was out for a wee hit himself, didn't he? He was, yeah. I think he's taking lessons actually down Is the road, he? so he's, he's, he's quietly improving too. <laughs> quietly. I think Dykes doesn't do many things quietly. Oh, oh. Really not a bad effort. I know we're having a bit of a light-hearted chat as I sink and close. No, uh, but obviously it's quite, it's great just seeing new boys come into a camp early on. It's not something that maybe a lot of Scotland fans would have seen in years gone by, like players coming in early ahead of time when you could be on your holidays if you wanted. Yeah, obviously it's a, it's, it's a kind of wee bit strange, obviously with the with the amount of games we've kind of got in the summer um, and everybody across the league's finishing at different times. Yeah. I think the, the staff and, and the players as well were just keen to try and keep the fitness levels up because you know the last thing we want is to be you know be not not flying high going into this Ukraine game. You've always been synonymous with Scotland fans as being someone that just takes so much pride in putting on the jersey. What is it about representing Scotland for you that makes it so special? Is it what it does for your family? Is it what you've always dreamed of as a young boy or is it a bit of everything? Yeah, a bit of everything I would say. Um, it, it's just one thing in your career that never seems to lose that kind of special feeling. Every time you every time you get to play, you know, especially at Hamden in front of the, the home crowd, um, it's an amazing feeling. So um, yeah, hopefully here's to here's to many more caps and uh, and like you say, as soon as you kinda as soon as you make your debut you don't really think two, three, four, five are coming, you're just happy to, to tick it off and you think I'll I'll take that for now but like I said, yeah, I've been lucky enough to, to add a few more. And then the goals that followed as well. Was it four goals to your name there? Is that right, in the Scotland jersey? Oh! <laughs> I'm delighted. That is my right, and that was on camera. That very big got on camera. <laughs> I was talking about your goals, and you just went to eclipse the whole thing. <laughs> Save that for me. I'm not, I'm not beating that, by the way. Uh, is it four goals to your name? Is that right? Yeah. I think so. Um, be nice to add, add to that against Ukraine. <laughs> but yeah, again, 
Sporting. That's the first goal. It's the first goal. So. Um, yeah, so I've been buzzing after that one. And just to wrap up, mate, um, obviously we've been in a similar situation where we've had a big playoff game immediately followed by Nations League games as well. Yeah. What's the kind of atmosphere within the group? Obviously we've not even got ourselves close to that first game, but there'll be a determined nature amongst the group to go into all of these games and try and pick up as many points and results as we can in this window. Yeah, um, I think obviously the main the main focus will, will, will be the first game, but you know, straight after that, hopefully that's a positive, positive result. If we can do the same magical and then qualify for a World Cup, but I think we've managed to do that. It'll just, you know, keep, keep kind of snowballing. Um, you know, we've kind of spoke about the kind of run of games that we've, we've managed to put together and, and how much kind of confidence we take from that. So, well, we look forward to it, mate. Ryan, thank you, mate, for joining me. And that was an absolute I'm delighted <laughs> I've made a podcast. <laughs> delighted.